Welcome to Enola, Manitoba, Canada. Enola is located roughly 23 kilometers from the Winnipeg Perimeter Highway, a short jaunt from the big city. The community was established in around 1907, and in around 1912, the Grand Trunk Railway had purchased this land and named it Freeport. Now around 1917, the name Enola was born. Nobody really knows why the name Enola was chosen. Some people say it's because the surrounding grounds of the town are on a slight rise to the areas around it, or a knoll. Thus, the term Enola was born. Others say that it's after an officer's daughter, a conductor from the railway. His daughters, Hazel, Elma, and Vivian, or Hazel Ridge, Elma, and Vivian, being towns that were named in around that same time, seem to make sense, and Enola possibly being the mother or the wife of the conductor. Let's go take a look around town and I'll show you what we have to offer. Here we have the Enola Building Center. So this is the area that uh, a lot of new homes in this area get built from. We have our own lumber yard and hardware store. We have a grocery or food store. And we have a church. Actually, I think we've got four churches. Here's one of them. Let's go. We have a Shell gas station and a Petrocan gas. Here we have the Enola Fire and Rescue. Here's the Enola Motor Hotel, bar, and the Enola Cafe. This building here across the street used to be a car dealership back in its time. Koski Car Dealership. And of course, what small farming community doesn't have a animal feed store? Oh, sorry about that. You know, it's cool. Almost forgot. Let's head back to the community center. <laughs> this is not the community club. Oh, this is the 10 acre woods. This way. Yeah, this seems about right. Uh, okay, so here we are at the Enola Community Club. So as you can see behind here, this is where uh, we have all kinds of school dances and we have weddings and birthday parties and it's kind of the heart of the community. So what I am proposing is actually just over on this side here. And this here is the pad. So this pad was put here years ago. We used to have a swing set here, a play area for the kids, uh, and we had some funding, and we had some local funding and government funding, and we pulled all that out and put in this pad, and then of course our funding fell apart for that year, and uh, as it sits, a pad uh, awaiting for uh, a skate park. So I am proposing to use the $25,000 for Manitobaville to put in a skate park here. I have done some preliminary checking and research on uh, costing and design. Uh, and it's just something to bring to the community for teenagers to come out and, and have something to do. We're outside the city. We don't have all the amenities that the, the city does or even some larger towns in our community. So this is my proposal site. It is all set up and ready to go. Uh, you can see there's some weeds growing on there. It's been a few years since we have had, uh, you know, since it had stopped. So I'm asking uh, for your help in this. Thank you.